Marina Day Dreamers. Sunday morning, what's a great thing to eat? Waffles! What about frozen waffles? No, no, not Legos. This kind. Rainy Day Dreamers. Rainy Day Dreamers. Did you think you had seen the last of Olaf? Not by a long shot. There's now an Olaf waffle maker. Thank you so much to Jeffrey over on Instagram for telling us about this. We had to run right out and buy one. We're going to make ourselves some Olaf waffles. This is about $25 and uh, Jeffrey found it at Target and so did we. If you can't find it locally, I'll put a link down below this video. When we saw this over at Target today, you asked me something about why is it Olaf who gets all the stuff? What did you think it should be? Well, why not like Anna or Elsa or anybody? It's always Olaf. It is funny how out of that entire movie and all the beloved characters, Olaf is really the one who is the merchandising genius. One thing I'm a little disappointed in with this waffle maker is that it doesn't assemble Olaf for you completely. It lets you create the parts of Olaf that then you have to put them together yourself. Instructions. Oh, look at this. I like this thing, whatever it is already. It's a little scary though, <laughs> but I like it. We'll show you in a minute. Oh, it's got the right colors and everything. Oh, look at that. And it's tiny. I guess if you have trouble getting your kids to eat breakfast, this might be one way to do it, huh? Tell them you get to eat the Olaf waffles. <laughs> Seems pretty sturdy. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? There's a snowflake! Oh, the power That's... button? Oh, the, the, the indicator light is a snowflake. Let's show you this up close. Here is the waffle maker. The little snowflake Roxanne was talking about. You'll probably see that lit up later when we have it plugged in. Here are the pieces that you will assemble Olaf from. I'm pretty sure you can see the shapes there. And then a little bit on the short side cord, but that's not unusual for kitchen small appliances. And instead of a spatula scooper, there's this with these pointy things. Haven't quite figured out the reason for that. Let's look at the instructions. The instructions tell you what's included. They don't actually have a name for this pseudo spatula thing, but I guess it's because you have to pry up those little individual pieces. And then in the back here, they do have some recipes for different type of waffles, but they don't give you any waffle mix in the box. Here's the waffle mix we're using with the usual milk and eggs and oil. I've done all of that, so we are going to set this up, plug it in. It takes a few minutes to heat up. You need some kind of a non-cooked spray or to, to grease it down so that the waffle pieces don't stick. Have this just in case, and then their weird little <laughs> fork removal tool. Are we ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, see if you can plug that in and we'll see about this light coming on. Oh, it looks so nice. Little snowflake. Okay. This is going to be getting hot as you're doing this. By the way, this is not for kids. It looks like a toy. Not for kids, not a toy. I probably shouldn't be doing it. Can you eat that? Well, you do. Well, can in, you? Like in your mouth? Indirectly. Oh, I don't know about spraying this directly in your mouth. It's not like the whipped cream that is good. It looks pretty good. It's supposed to be buttery. We've got to close this so it will heat up properly. Three to five minutes and then we're ready to pour that in. This is the maple syrup that Bethany G sent us when we did that uh, mystery box exchange, remember? The problem is it's a mystery now how to open it. There's like, I, I don't know if this is the fancy old style way of doing it or something, but like they sort of melted uh, the lid on it or something and I can't open it like this. No matter how hard I try, and so I'm not sure if I'm supposed, is it covered in like a melted wax or Maybe something? Maybe you're supposed to pull it. I'll try that. See, it's like there's something melted over the cap. Like, you know, they used to do fancy things, fancy uh, drinks and so forth to seal them up. So, is this involved in pulling this off? I'll worry about the syrup in a minute. This is ready to go. It's uh, all heated up. Watch yourself. Oh, all the... Butter spray is what? is, is uh, turning brown. Why? <laughs> I guess we overcooked it a little. Oh, and this is getting kind of a little on the thick side. Oh my gosh, it's sizzling! How are you supposed to get this into the arms and like really the lines of the carefully. face and Olaf's little hair strands and stuff? Oh, this is gonna be messy. Arm, come here, arm. Just overfill it a little bit. I, mean, and then I think it'll I need smush a. It. Yeah, I guess that's true. It should smush in space. I just feel like I need a, 
a frosting bag or something. No, you, you no, right. <laughs> Keep your hand away, Roxanne. Oh, it's got to be like 400 I degrees. I touched it. It wasn't I'm gonna have to hot. Cook Roxanne. Here we go. <laughs> Three to six minutes. Once I do this, sizzling. Okay, got to get this thing off. Got to have to stir it. Oh, I need plates and forks. Oh my gosh. Full. Oh, Bethany, you set this up. We can't open. Maybe you're supposed to take a knife and like cut this part off or something. I don't know. That didn't work. <laughs> I want my syrup. <laughs> oh my. My pliers. We need help from a Canadian. <laughs> you open <laughs> the syrup up there in Canada. Hey, it's starting to smell good. Oh my gosh, we got smoke. We still got time. Is it supposed to smoke? It's just the moisture coming out. Oh wait, now it's coming sideways. Now will it come off? There we go. Hey! Well that was something, huh? Yeah. Doesn't have a really strong smell. Okay, got one minute left to get plates. Go ahead. Burn. Burning hot. All right, it's been three minutes. I need you to open that lid up carefully and let's see if they're done. They're looking done, don't oh, you think? Yep. Okay, let's uh, close the lid, unplug it, and we will pull those out. Okay, go ahead. We'll try to dig this out and then we've got to cut off the whole well, lot of pieces. It turned into one giant of, waffle. I was about to say that, and now, I don't think you got a hand on that side. Uh oh. We have these waffles at this rest at this uh, hotel chain we stay at, right? You make your own, and they're like Texas shaped and stuff. Oh my gosh, those are amazing! Yeah, well, this one isn't quite so amazing, but this is our first attempt. It looks like it's all loose. How about you grab your half? I'll grab my half, and we'll try to slide them over to the plate and then operate them. <laughs> oh, Olaf, where are you in there? Time to perform a little delicate operation here on Olaf to cut out his shapes and assemble him. Do you want help? Doesn't want my help. I am going to pour in some more of the waffle mix and get another one cooking. Okay, watch your arm here. I am going to, now that this is heated up, try to put some of this in with a spoon. That way I have a little better control. A little better. A little better. Oh, I already missed the thing. <clears throat> hey, that's really good. It's easier doing it this way, but it's still too much. I can tell it's too puffy, so. Here we go. But it's really good. Oh. Three to six minutes. Wait, don't you need to push it down more? No, I'm afraid to. Roxanne did a good job there with her Olaf. Let me show you up close. Here is Waffle Olaf. Nice job, Roxana. Sorry about the missing hand. Here are the extra pieces we had left over. And this one is about to come out of the waffle iron. Okay, Roxana, open up. Let's see what mine is going to be like. The same thing, even though I so carefully put it into those places. Is that unavoidable, maybe? Maybe. But it looks pretty good. I think it's done. So if you'd close it and unplug it, and then I'll get that out of there. It's warm in here now. Yes, I noticed <laughs> Ooh, that. It's a small room, and it's roasty. Excuse me. It doesn't have any trouble with coming right off. It doesn't stick, so that's good. At least it all comes off in one big piece <laughs> when they don't come out individually. We're done with that for now. I will cut mine into an Olaf. We'll put on some syrup. Give it a try. Here are the Olaf waffles. Mine and Roxana's. And we're going to add some syrup here. It's on the eyeball, I guess. And let it run down his nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm missing. But hey, at least he's got these big holes here to hold on to some of the syrup for you. Oh, I think that was a little too much. Okay, over here. Syrup, one of those things you can never have too much of. Totally. Okay. All right, Bethany, we're going to try this syrup out and let you know. Are you ready? Yep. Buen provecho. Just an arm is easy to start with. It's already yeah. pre-cut. Pretty good. I'm thinking pancake more than waffle. I'm going to do waffle. Mm. You know, when I first saw this and everything, mm -hmm. it reminded me 
of like a breakfast and then I started getting really tired because then it was like, well, I should have just woken up and everything without eating breakfast, so. Syrup's very good, Bethany. It's very light. It's not a real heavy type of syrup. It's good. Waffles turned out well. Easy to make, right? Totally. Yum. Okay. You know what I would do with this? I'm making breakfast. I like still eat eggs. I actually can't eat much more of this. It has milk in it. I would take the bot, the main body part. I would take an egg, like the egg McMuffin, you know, McDonald's thing, those round scrambled egg thing. Put it on top of that. Take Olaf's head. Put it on top of that and make like a egg McMuffin kind of sandwich. Uh, Olaf McMuffin. What do you think it would be called? McOlaf. McOlaf. What was the other one? Olafin. <laughs> I like that one best actually, but that would be good with the egg. You could even, if you could eat ham, have a slice of ham there. So you'd have the Olaf sandwich and with just like the arms sticking out the side or something. <laughs> I like that idea. Well, it worked well and the food's good, don't you think? So the frozen Olaf waffle maker, a thumbs up from you? Totally. Thumbs up from me too. We will be trying our hand at a few more cooking things in the future, don't you think? It's fun and it's tasty. You can keep checking back for those videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up and you will join the dream team. It's raining at our house. Is it raining where you are? Try to date a state in a play or eat a big chocolate bar.